Class, please be seated. Welcome to the 55th commencement exercises at Cinnamonson High School. Commencement, the solemn but joyful climax and recognition of the graduates' years of study, is an important and meaningful occasion to the high school, its faculty, staff, and students. In keeping with this feeling, all guests and participants are requested to avoid unnecessary conversation or moving about during the exercises. It is also requested that the audience give each member of the class of 2021 his or her deserved recognition as he or she is called to receive his or her diploma. Please hold all the applause until all members of the class of 2021 in attendance have received diplomas. Members of the audience are requested to join and stand Cinnamonson High School honor soloist Olivia Rosenberg as we play homage to our great nation by singing the national anthem conducted by senior conductor Matthew Drinkard. Class, please stand. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce our high school principal, Mr. Ryan Gorman. Good evening and welcome to the 55th commencement exercises for Cinnamons in High School. In keeping with the events of this year, this evening's ceremony came with some extra complications, but I am incredibly thankful that we have been afforded the opportunity to take a moment to gather tonight to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2021. With us this evening are the people whose effort make our school district run. We have the president of our Board of Education, Ms. Laura Fitzwater, our superintendent, Mr. Stephen Capello, our director of curriculum, Dr. Frank Goulburn, our director of special services, Mrs. Darlene Llewellyn, administrators from throughout the district, my colleagues from the high school, parents, family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2021. Thank you to each and every one of you for joining us here this evening. Before continuing with my formal remarks, I would like to take a moment to thank the individuals who made this celebration a reality. Mr. Mark Tyndall and the maintenance and grounds crew, our special events coordinators, Mr. Matt Prokupka and Mrs. Julie Leitz, our band director, Ms. Nicely, our choir director, Mr. Bacon, the students in the band and the choir for their contributions to this year's ceremony. Please join me in a round of applause for these people whose effort made tonight possible. Most importantly, I would like to take one last moment to thank the parents and family who have guided and molded these young people into who they become today. This year, more than any other year in modern memory, required a marriage between parents and the school to ensure students would be successful. I hope we can consider this ceremony a song of celebration or prothemalia to that marriage, for it is your message about what it means to be an adult that carries the most weight with your children, and the quality of those messages never fails to impress me. I am so thankful for all you have done to help provide us a meaningful senior year for your children, and I would love to join you in a round of applause for each and every one of you.
This year certainly came with some unique challenges. We joined our neighbors around the country, spending time and energy reinventing nearly every facet and function of the high school. Teachers and students had to adapt to never before seen challenges and find new and different ways to accomplish old goals. Often it felt like we had to subjugate what we wanted to do for what we were able to do. And it was dangerous, dangerously easy to focus on the th things lost over opportunities presented. However, I propose that the ability to take never before seen information and develop effective solutions is the quintessence of an effective education. Furthermore, those that can overcome adversity and identify the opportunities in those very obstacles are 10 steps ahead of the pack in the race of life. If you join me in those assertions, then the class of 2021 is without question the class that is best prepared for the challenges that adulthood would pose. In fact, wherever your path may take you, be it pursuing education, defending our country, joining the workforce, or continuing to search for your passion, your road, will, your road will have hills, and sometimes those hills will be incredibly steep. However, you are armed with the knowledge that you have already overcome a once-in-a-generation mountain of a hill and arrived successfully at the top. My fondest wish is for that, the knowledge, for that knowledge to give each and every one of our graduates the conf confidence that they will need to accomplish their goals. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduating class of 2021. Now it is my turn to return the favor and welcome back our first speaker, the president of the class of 2021, master of ceremonies for this evening procedures, and with an overall GPA of 105.1, the 2021 valedictorian, Mr. Matthew Blair. Matt is a three-year recipient of the Burlington County Principal and Supervisor Association Award, which recognizes the top students in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade at East Burlington County High School, and a member of the 2021 CHS Hall of Fame. Matt is an exceptional individual with a truly deserving and a truly deserving valedictorian. He will be continuing his education next year at Bucknell University. I will now get out of the way for Mr. Matthew Blair. Thank you, Mr. Gorman. And good evening to our faculty, families, friends, and of course, to my classmates in the class of 2021. I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to speak to all of you tonight. This class's remarkable scholarship, athleticism, artistic talent, and spirit truly make it an honor to be named valedictorian. I owe much of my success to my wonderful parents who always taught me the value of dedication and hard work. I will forever be indebted to them. I'd also like to thank our two class advisors, Mrs. Carroll and Mr. McNamara, for the time and effort that they put into all of the senior events that we had this year. With the uncertainty of whether or not restrictions would lift so that we could have events like the gala and senior day, I know that they had to deal with tons of stress and even more paperwork in order to get things done for our class. On the same hand, I'd like to thank our administration for making sure that our senior year was able to look as normal as possible given the circumstances. We were able to have a fantastic class trip to Disney World, even as other schools in the area began to cancel theirs. Once again, Thank you. Needless to say, we've had an unorthodox senior year that I'm sure has given all of us plenty to think about over these past nine months. As I began writing this speech, I realized a couple of things. One, that writing a speech is way harder than I thought it would be. And two, that I really didn't know where to start. It's hard to choose from so many memories of 13 years of school together. I could have talked about how someone ate a leaf in my kindergarten class, and you know who you are. Or how my group at Camp Bakanikin got the entire grade lost on the Compass scavenger hunt. And I could have even mentioned how we choked in pep rally our junior year, but I don't want to make Mrs. Carroll too angry. Then I decided that maybe I was looking in the wrong direction for inspiration. I started to look ahead towards what we can accomplish in the future, instead of dwelling on what we've done in the past. And I think that we have to take the lessons that we've learned together and use them to live more fulfilling lives when we're older. So, without being too grandiose, I'd like to share something interesting that I've learned over the past year. Through the upheaval in our country since last March, my mind has always drifted to the idea of freedom. Everyone is familiar with the famous First Amendment rights, such as freedom of speech and religious liberty, but I began to think of a different form of freedom that I think many people are giving up today. That is, the freedom to think for yourself. You may say, of course we're thinking for ourselves. Nobody can control what we think. Mind control doesn't exist yet. And of course, this is true. But it's not exactly what I mean. In order to be thinking freely, you must be thinking actively. Don't be a potted plant. Don't passively accept others' ideas as facts until you think about them for yourself. 
So let me explain this idea with a trivial example. Suppose there's a movement that says kumquats are terrible, and we need to get rid of all kumquats. And all over the news and social media, you see the anti-kumquat faction ranting about how we shouldn't be growing any more of these fruits. Now, someone who isn't thinking freely would automatically respond with, I'm not eating a kumquat, that sounds disgusting. On the other hand, a person who is truly thinking freely would ask the question, have I ever tried a kumquat? Because to be intellectually free means to challenge the claims that you hear or read in different walks of life. And maybe because of thinking freely, you discover that kumquats are actually your favorite food. Unless you have an allergy to citrus fruits, in which case you might just want to stick to bananas. Keep in mind, this doesn't have to only be about kumquats. It could be cucamelon, jackfruit, mangosteen, salmon berries, and maybe I'm just listing exotic fruits, but the point still stands. And not to make this a botany lesson, but don't be a potted plant. Take responsibility for your own intellectual freedom and make your ideas truly your own. Question what other people say. Never take anybody's claim as fact without asking your own questions about it first. Because how can you be living freely if you're not thinking freely? Intellectual liberty is the most inherent form of liberty that we possess, and in order to protect it, we must become active thinkers. That's when we can experience life and freedom to the fullest. I wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors, and I'm sure that many great things will come your way. And while it may seem like the class of 2021 is riding into the sunset, we're really charging into the sunrise as the endless possibilities of our futures spread out before us. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. I'm equally excited to introduce to the podium our salutatorian, Mr. Michael York. Michael will graduate from Cinemason High School with an overall GPA of a 103.8. He is also a 2021 inductee into the CHS Hall of Fame, and we will be pursuing computer engineering at Union College next year. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael York. Thank you, Mr. Gorman. Good evening to all my classmates, the faculty, and the family that were fortunate enough to make it to this graduation ceremony. I am honored to be here speaking to you today as a class salutatorian. I'd like to take a moment to thank my loving family, all my supportive friends, and the dependable staff at the Cinnamons and Schools. I truly would not be here without each and every one of you. 2021. I remember being told that this was the year we'd graduate, thinking it was way too far away to be real. And even now, I'm not too sure if it's real. But what I do know is that we've been through so much together. Just this morning, we took our walk down memory lane. A rush of memories came back to me as I walked the former school halls that we thought were so big once before, trading silly bands, playing the extreme sport, Gaga, <laughs> staying at Camp Akinikin, which, by the way, thanks for reminding me we got lost, <sighs> struggling to unlock our first lockers, starting our final chapter together at freshman orientation and all the pep rallies we should have won. Not to mention all the clubs, organizations, and sports we each devoted so much time and effort into. Seeing all the familiar faces from what feels like a lifetime ago and all the students looking up to us literally and figuratively made me realize something. Both everything and yet nothing has changed. We might be moving on from CHS, but there we are. Our reflection of ourselves is still learning to count to 100. A shadow is still playing kickball at recess. Our childhoods are being relived before our eyes. So while we take a step back from the past, our memories are still very much alive and present. So I ask you, as we continue through our graduation ceremony, remember the hard work you put in the last four years. Remember the friends you've made, even the ones you might have grown apart from. Reminisce with old pictures, especially the embarrassing ones. Remember what brought you here, all of it, your successes and your failures. Every moment of it is what guided you to this. It's the end of our collective journey, but the end isn't something to avoid. In the words of vision, a thing isn't beautiful because it lasts. If high school were forever, there'd be nothing special to it. 
And what's more, it gives us the opportunity to begin new individual journeys, whether they be in the workforce, the military, or some higher education. Our time here deserves a meaningful goodbye. Speaking of the future, whatever you might see yourself doing in it, we can be sure that it'll be new, it'll be different, and it'll be challenging. But we'll be ready for it. The, thing our class, the things our class has been able to achieve in light of recent events is nothing short of extraordinary. Together, we've put up some impressive fights during our spirit weeks while raising mo uh, money for charity at the same time. Our clubs have thrived in lieu of the pandemic, such as with NHS opening its tutoring to the entire school district. Our class officers and advisors have worked tirelessly to give us a senior prom and a senior trip. Not to mention the academic work that we've put in to get our diplomas. As for what we'll go on to accomplish, don't let a fresh start or new goals discourage you. We've done this all before. It's just a matter of adjusting to new circumstances. It's what sets us apart from the rest, our ability to adapt to the changing times. So I remind you that even if things begin to feel overwhelming and are uh, transitioned to the next phase of your life, you have the experience, you've shown the commitment, and you will always have friends here to support you. I can't emphasize enough how much all of you have deeply impacted my life and made a sometimes dull world that much brighter. I couldn't have asked for much more. I mean, uh, it's been pretty cool to have a pony too, but uh, I, hope, I hope this feeling is what each of you takes away from graduation as you take hold of your diploma. So I wish you all the best of luck as we move on from CHS and into the future. Thank you for your time, and for 12 years, I'll never forget. We welcome to the podium our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Stephen Capella. Thank you, everyone. My remarks this evening are probably a bit less traditional than I've made in the past. I have no sagely advice to offer, at least not from me. Rather, I wanted to use this time to take inventory, to celebrate this class and our sentiments and community. During the longest and darkest days of this pandemic, when schools were closed and we were all remote, I found myself longing for days like today. I promised myself I would take more time to give pause and to appreciate the small things, like just being together as a school, as a district, and more importantly, as a class. Cinnamon's in itself is a unique community. If you do a Google search, you'll find only one Cinnamon's in in the whole world. There are many Washingtons, Monroes, Springfields, Medfords, even Palmyras, but there is only one Cinnaminson. And Cinnaminson has only one class of 2021. And here you sit a unique cohort from a unique town graduating under unique circumstances. And we are here to recognize and celebrate Cinnaminson's only class of 2021. And again, you are not only a unique class, but a hardworking, motivated, and highly decorated class. Over the last few weeks, I've observed a number of commencement addresses, each one seeming to hyper-focus on the pandemic and the way in which students have responded to adversity and coming out stronger on the other side. And as I listened to these addresses, I thought about our students here in Cinnaminson. I thought about the community and what it stands for. The community members of Cinnaminson show a love and commitment for this town, a love and commitment that is truly remarkable. The reason for this is very clear. This is a town and this is a school that shows up for their neighbors, their children, their community, and their classmates. Cinnamons and rises in the face of adversity and in doing so, raises up their community and those around them. This commitment has translated to an excellence in our students that is well documented outside of 08077. Our students did well this year because they have been taught since day one to be Cinnamons and strong. They never gave up, they rally, they refuse to accept the concept of can't, don't, and won't. Seeing you here tonight on the other side of a challenging high school career proves what we already know, that Cinnaminson has the very best students, and this starts long before grade nine. Earlier today, you had the opportunity to visit New Albany, Rush, and the middle school. Your walk down memory lane was a chance to re-experience the buildings where you grew up, 
to see the staff that helped you get where you are today, and to celebrate the accomplishments in front of future graduating classes. Michael, in your remarks, you profoundly offered the paradox, both everything and nothing has changed. I can't think of anything more emblematic of the experiences of walking through the halls that you once traveled as six and seven year olds, seeing how much has changed, seeing how much you have changed, and yet how much has remained the same, especially in the faces of the boys and girls who clapped for you today. Your journey from New Albany to Rush to CMS, then on to CHS. If you were to put that journey into Google Maps, it would only take you 7.4 miles. You can drive it by car in only 21 minutes. And despite the small distance, your teachers have taken, on an, taken you on an incredible adventure over the past 2,340 school days. For over 16,000 hours, your career began from learning your letters and then learning how to read. You went from learning numbers to learning advanced algebra, geometry, and calculus. And in 12 years, you learned many skills. But as your valedictorian, Matt Blair, suggests, most importantly, you learned to think for yourselves. You learned how to learn. And while your physical journey down memory lane this morning serves as a reminder that you may have only physically traveled 7.4 miles, you are prepared for the next steps, which you will take you and which will take you much further. Some of you have already made plans to attend schools from Washington to Arizona to Florida. Some of you will attend schools hundreds, even thousands of miles from home. While others of you will serve this great country, and in the coming months and years, you may find yourself halfway across the globe. And wherever it is that you may find yourself, my hope is this for you, that you'll always be reminded of the 7.4 miles that helped shape you into the person that you are today. In closing, I promised I would not offer any advice on your graduation day, at least none of my own. Earlier today, I emailed each of you a video with advice given to you by members of the CHS classes of 2031 and 2032. Their advice, and I quote, spend time with your family, go to college, Text your friends to hang out. Get a car if you don't have one. <laughs> Just explore places. And from one profound young first grader named Logan, feel like you belong. Don't let anybody stop you. And just keep pushing. Profound advice from a Cinnaminson student. Thank you and congratulations. Mr. Gorman will now recognize the top 10% of the class of 2021. Please stand as your name is announced and remain standing until all names have been read. Please hold all applause until all the names have been called. James Asbury, Matthew Blair, Matthew Bundy, Matthew Cho, Timothy Dunleavy, Corey Harrell, Dane Hess, Conlin Holt, Danielle Lindsley, Bryant Liu, Allison McEnany, Skylar McGuckin, Robin Murray, Rachel Pierce, Declan Ryan Lawton, Caitlin Safka, Drew Schneeman, Mateus Silvera Silva, Sarah Sokolowski, Emma Tritola, Isabella Valadez, Michael York. Please join me in congratulating the top 10% of the class of 2021. <laughs> Students may be seated. Seven members of the class of 2021 will be proudly wearing the colors of the United States of America and the armed forces. Please stand when I call your name and remain standing. Stephanie Duarte, Navy. Ronald Arago, Air Force. Alex Gonzalez, Army. Michael Gorman, Air National Guard. David Norman, Coast Guard. Damian Rohrbach, Army. Alyssa Troutman, Air Force. There is no higher honor than to defend this wonderful nation we call a home, and we as a community thank you for your service. Please be seated.
Our next presenter is Dr. Frank Goldberg, Director of Curriculum and Instruction, who will recognize the 2021 Awards of Excellence recipients. Thank you, Matt. Please stand as your name is announced and remain standing until all the names are announced. Please hold your applause until all of the names have been called. For Excellence in Art, Joanna Flair. For Excellence in Biology, Danielle Lindsley. For Excellence in Business, Lola Mustafa. For Excellence in Chemistry, Matthew Blair. For Excellence in English, Lillian Myers. For Excellence in French, Emma Nippens. For Excellence in Mathematics, James Asbury. For Excellence in Music, Matthew Drinkard. For Excellence in Design, Caitlin Safka. For Excellence in Physics, Michael York. For Excellence in Social Studies, Thomas Callahan. For Excellence in Spanish, Matthew Blair. For Excellence in Cooperative Business Education, Connor O'Brien. For Excellence in Marketing Education, Luke Walton. And for Excellence in Physical Education, Kyle Robinson and Anna Prickett. Please join me in congratulating all of the award recipients. Students, you may be seated. As we prepare to confer diplomas on each senior, let us join together to acknowledge our love and give praise to our high school by joining the Cinnaminson Chamber Choir and members of the Concert Choir featuring senior soloist Alyssa Troutman in the singing of our alma mater. Please stand. please be seated.
The honor of bestowing diplomas on the members of the graduating class is assigned to the President of the Board of Education. Please join me in welcoming Cinnamonson Township's Board of Education President, Ms. Laura Fitzwater, and Mr. Stephen Capello, Superintendent of Schools. Mr. Gorman will be joined by Assistant Principal and Athletic Director, Mr. Jay Miley, and the Class of 2021 Advisors, Mrs. Joanne Carroll and Mr. Patrick McNamara, as well as the Assistant Principal, Ms. Caitlin McCann, to read the class role. I hereby certify that the collective members of the senior class of 2021 have met and fulfilled all of the requirements prescribed by the state and local board of education. They have at this time earned the right to be awarded a Cinnamons and High School diploma. To you, Mrs. Fitzwater, the president of the board of education, it is my honor to present the class of 2021. Jameer Moses Foy. Tatiana L. Wright. Owen Ogden. Emma Tritola. Richard Ukenna Izua. Perry Jane Boone. Lucas Kiermes de Medeiros. Jamie Lynn Tucker. David J. Norman. <laughs> Olivia Antoinette O'Connor. <laughs> Connor O'Brien. <laughs> Gabrielle Sokolowski. Aiden Conyers. <laughs> Simone Pissetti. Kevin Michael Kissling. <laughs> Stephanie Duarte. Dane Dietrich Hess. Matthew Francis Krupa. Alexandra L. McDowell. Jackson Patel. Leah Nicole Turner. Garrett Goebel. Doug Kirk.
Cassie, glisten. Luke Perkins. Arzu Jada Aiden. Jacob N. Solomon. Isabella R. Velades. Grace Sinise. Ora Kumas. Erin Kylie Strail. Andrew Thomas Proctor, Jr. Anissa Macayo. Mark H. Murray. Alyssa Elizabeth Troutman. Matthew Charles Wright. Daniel Cade Rosania. Sean Michael Overman. Jake Robert Sekuler. <laughs> Natalie Riviello. <laughs> Andrew D. Brown. Amaya Geisek. <laughs> Peyton Anthony Willis. <laughs> Haley Dwyer. <laughs> Ryan R. Cardonic. Maya K. Tevenigel. <laughs> Zaid L. Mehmet. <laughs> Cecily Corinne Bramhall. Kai Barretts. Declan Ryan Lawton. Brooke T. Casey. Michael J. Carlin.
Michael Blystein. Owen Michael Wyke. Christina Snyder. Aku Ulatas. Jelly Amaral. Michael Patrick Gorman. Ashley Elizabeth Marilyn Pierce. Sarah Sokolowski. Amari Marshall. Andrew C. Bishop. Daniel Joseph Terrafay. Alexis Ambos. Patrick McLean. Danielle P. Lindsley. Anthony Jabbar Wong. John Michael Dowling Jr. Kayla Chase Murray. Ethan E. Pinak. My bad, Ethan. Morgan Olivia Waite. Thomas Callahan. <laughs> Alexandra Riviello. <laughs> Nicholas Schuler. <laughs> Carmelo Colon. Gianna Capri Scafidi. <laughs> Jacob Hunter Clark. <laughs> Kelly May Zajaka. <laughs> Sergi Edward Boyko. Joanna Marie Flair. James Asbury. Sky D. Wally. Emma Nippins.
Derry Grace Bacchus. Andrew Walter. Fola Ibrahim. Joseph Edward Hoffman. Juliana Millivoy. Angus Donahue. Jalen Amir Long. Melissa Kunt. Josh P. Scott. Celeste Victoria Sanchez. Luke M. Walton. Julia L. Wheeler. Anna Prickett. Wesley Lewis Clothier, Jr. Jenna Colfer. Joshua Byram. Hannah K. Byram. Joshua Seagraves. Kiani D. White. Bryant Liu. Caitlin Maria Safka. Matthew A. Coates. Isabella Corbel. Ryan D. McCoog. Jack Stewart. Kyle Robinson. Joshua James Bottomer. Dolores Diarpino. Norman Isaiah Love. Zayan A. Robinson. Anthony C. Scarpa. Destiny Jaya Marie Palfi. Corey Harrell. Andrew C. Hamilton.
Conlon Joseph Holt. Taylor Sky Blue. John Robert Cotter. Busa Balak. Anthony Balboni. <laughs> Caitlin Victoria Mulligan. Paige Michelle DeSanto. William J. Gallagher the Fourth. Alexandra Crockett. William Lee Sandine. Meadow Amber Basilio. <laughs> Joseph Balboni Giovanna Kathleen Downs Cara Brienne Gallagher Christine Ann Oliveira. Ronald Arago. Anna Del Grippo. Matthew Bundy. Celeste Barbara Edwards. Christian D. Raymond. <laughs> Alex Gonzalez. Sarah Passy. Ryan James Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Abigail Dare. <laughs> Zachary Edmondson. <laughs> Bella Morgan. Joseph McDonough. Victoria Chomix. Lola Mustafa. Drew Schneeman. Esgi Basil. Robert William Anthony Jordan. Alyssa D'Altrache.
Timothy E. Dunleavy. Shelby Sills. Ryan P. McAndrews. Amanda Josephine Godwin. Shane P. Grisham. Anna Louise Glassinger. Alec J. Grande. Ashante DeShields. Mateus Silvera Silva. Brenna M. Piotrowski. James Cherubino. Margaret Mary Fugel. Jacob C. Barry. Erin Rebecca Ruskoviak. Leo A. Dolan III. Joseph C. Pappas. Juliana Pisarek. Matthew Donald Morell. Jasmine Oliver. George Katsiotis. Skyler M. McGuckin. Jacob Zafik. Eduardo Souza Ares. Gabrielle Mary Mulvahill Leahy. Roderick J. Wright, Jr. Caitlin Kasky. Joseph W. Hoffman. Jenna Ahmed. Dallas Francis Williams. Jack Allen Joseph Reed. Mike Moreno. Gianna Pappas. Yeah! 
Ryan Manganello. Rachel V. Pierce. Carabo K. Manderville. Taikira Mayani Barney. Kylie Durham. Matthew Drinkard. Amari Smith. Daniel Ryan O'Donnell. Jordan Miller. Austin M. Metzger. Quinn Keenan. Joshua P. Long. Kira Marie Tice. Brian Owen Portley. Shannon Mary Smith. Paul Gregory Monter. Brooke Keenan. Mark Anthony Marchetti. Allison McEnany. Ryan Joseph Berry. Alexander Q. Pestridge. Damian Michael Rohrbach. Lauren A. Stein. Nicholas Neal. Yeah, Nick! Gisia Aravello. Nicholas McGovern. Olivia J. Crisp. Matthew William Rowland. <laughs> Olivia Rosenberg. <laughs> Cole M. Hunter. Gabriella Aristeo. Ahmet C. Muyesser. Kira Catherine Pease. L. Smith. Tyler H. Khan.
Robin Murray. Matthew Henry Blair. Lily Nichols. Matthew Cho. Michael York. The class of 2021 would also like to recognize a student who was unable to be in attendance tonight. We would like to recognize our graduate, Lillian Myers. At this time, I would like the president of the class of 2022, Croy Horsley, to join me at the podium. As my last official act as president of the class of 2021, I would like to pass on to you the president's gavel and wish to you and the class of 2022 health, happiness, and success. Class of 2021 and audience, I invite you to reflect upon the events of this evening as our chamber choir and senior choir members sing the song of farewell. Mrs. Fitzwater, please join me here at the podium for the changing of the tassel. Class, please stand. <laughs> the last instructions you will receive as a Cinnamonton High School student are a symbol of your transition from student to graduate. Now Cinnamonson High School Class of 2021,
please turn your tassel from the left side to the right side of your cap. Go get them, pirates! <laughs>